Now, if you were on Twitter last night following Nicki Minaj or Lotto, well, you were witness to shots getting fired between these two female artists. When Nicki Minaj found out that her latest hit, Super Freaky Girl, wouldn't be nominated for a Grammy, well, she decided to take the competition down with her, protesting that Lotto's big energy, well, it shouldn't be there as well. Now, Lotto didn't take this sitting down and unleash some big D energy of her own. Now, amongst an array of tweets, well, Lotto hit up Nicki Minaj, stating, you're literally older than my mom trying to be a bully. Nicki Minaj. Now for all the tweets, all the shots fired, we'll be sure to stay tuned to this episode of Famous News. Also, let me know which side you're on. Now I, for one, I'm a little conflicted. Now Lotto, she geeked out back in the day when we made a mulatto before they were famous. She was like, oh my God, I'm actually famous. But on the other hand, we have a Nicki Minaj video on our TikTok that's got over 10 million views. And uh, well, she's been bringing me views for years. So I don't know who to root for. Anyway, let me know who you're rooting for in the comments down below. This is nice. Oh no! You still didn't like me. You shot me. Just send the location. I'm number one. My calling is to be the leader of the free world. Now it was announced that Nicki Minaj's single Super Freaky Girl, it would not be considered for any rap categories at the 2023 Grammy Awards. Now in contrast, it's currently being rumored that Lotto's hit song Big Energy, well, it's been submitted for consideration in at least one Grammy rap category. Yes, the times are a change in Nicki Minaj. She's certainly not the only female rapper in the game these days. And clearly, well, she's not happy about that. So she took to Twitter. She stated, I have no problem being moved from the rap category as long as we're all all being treated fairly. If SFG has to be moved out of rap, then so does Big Energy. Anyone who says Diff is simply a Nicki hater or a troll. I'd actually love to see more street record win, male or female, IJS, right is right. Nicki then quoted a tweet from a fan who posted a screenshot of Lotto calling Big Energy a pop song herself. So she posted this clip with the caption, yikes. I my pop badge for the hell of you. Now I'm top 40, but y'all was your last. Nikki continued, could you imagine someone telling you not to complain about being treated unfairly at your workplace? This is my job. I work very hard. No diff from a nine to five where you should speak up for yourself. You know you're a great employee and continue to be purposely sabotaged. Now, a few minutes later, well, Lotto, she seemingly responded to the conversation where she stated, damn, I can't win for losing all these awards. Noms, I can't even celebrate. Now, earlier today, again, it was announced that Lotto had received multiple American Music Award nominations, including Big Energy for Favorite Hip Hop Song. Now, to be fair, that song kind of is like the song of the summer, and it is, after all, a cover. I mean, she's only making half the money if it were an original, so let's let the girl have her W, am I right? Then Nicki Minaj, she posted a screenshot of an apparent DM Lotto had sent her, and she doubled down where she stated, this Karen has probably mentioned my name in over 100 interviews. Says she waited in line for Pink Friday, Day, with her Barbie chain on, bangs, pink hair, but today Scratch Off decides to be silent rather than speak up for the black woman she called her biggest inspiration. Lotto then came forward saying, all right, I won't be silent no more. She stated, first of all, I texted you because I didn't want to do the internet shit with someone I looked up to. Just like the first time I DM'd you asking about your ongoing subtweets. I wanted to speak up because like I said, I do agree, but the way you going about it seems malicious, especially after how how we left off. She then followed that up by uh, by firing off a solo tweet, naming Nikki directly and calling her a bully. She stated, I've ignored countless subtweets since March and instead addressed you in the DM. You're asking why I didn't speak up in your defense. It's the same answer I gave you when you asked why I didn't congratulate you. You're literally older than my mom trying to be a bully. Ha, huh? Nikki Minaj. That is funny. Wait till you hear these girls ages. She almost is double the age. Yikes. Now Nikki didn't take kindly to Lotto's job at her age, to which she responded in a quote tweet, all this time, I thought you was at least 35. Now, finally, Lotto, she ended it by calling Nikki a 40-year-old bully. And for the record, well, Nikki Minaj is 39 years old and Lotto is 23. So what do I think at the end of the day? I think Nikki Minaj is starting to look like Madonna. She's getting out of touch. She's getting older in her years. A new generation is coming in and you can't steal their thunder. You know, you've had your time. You were at the tippy top. You, 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 did it for a whole generation. You had a decade of success. Now you should exit with grace. Don't be on TikTok like Madonna throwing underwear around and coming out for the 19th time. Everyone knows what you're up to. Trying to stay relevant. Not a good look. Anyways, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Also, them Barb's fans, Lil Nas X kids, leave me alone. We also love Nikki. She does us, she makes us some great content. Anyway, see you guys in another video. Boom!